Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Red Dead Redemption. I hope that you guys like my poncho outfit that I got for this part. Let's continue from where we left off here. Your master! Good news, good news. The Coronel himself wants to speak to you. Come! Dámelo! Dámelo! Besito! Besito! Don't be so conventional! Ah, look at that ass, huh? Magnificent! That's save her for later. Or I'll kill her and all her family. They're probably rebels anyway, huh? Anyways, it's good to see you, amigo. Good to see you. You know, you are a rare find. A gringo who is also a friend of our country. Bienvenido. We welcome you. Okay. Dad, relax, relax. I have some wonderful news for you. Quite wonderful, in fact. You know the men you hunt? They have been captured in Chupa Rosa. I want you and DeSanta to ride out there, and then you can take possession of them. It Watch DeSanta's eyes in that. For all your help, senor. Although part of me wishes that you would remain here and enjoy more of our hospitality, huh? <laughs> Thank you. If it's all the same, I'd like to collect them in. I have a wife and son at home whom I miss. Ah, don't we all, amigo? Don't we all? <laughs> the Santa, I want you to take care of Senor Marston. Vámonos, cabrón, go! Adelante! <laughs> yeah, you saw Mi that, amor. um, right there. Mi so th this, <laughs> this game has a pretty good, good, um, uh, good showing of eye contact and body language when people aren't telling you the truth. Is that Reyes right there? What the? That is Reyes right there. What the hell? I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's supposed to happen, but yes, um, uh, I think that's actually... I think that's actually done on purpose. Yeah, Reyes is actually there. So he's actually, um, uh, Reyes has infiltrated their, um, uh, the, the base. They don't even notice him there. They might not have to know what he looks like. This is very good news, my friend. Then so, yeah. Coronel will find this for you. For your sake, you best be telling the truth. You have my word. After that trick you pulled on me with the munitions train, I ain't sure that means very much. You have Espinosa to blame for that. Come now, John. After everything we've been through, I think we can trust each other, don't you? How did you find them? They were captured just outside to Barroso. Every rat must come out of his hole eventually and be in hell in the church. A chance for them to contemplate heaven. Before you send them to hell, we have the area surrounded. Oh, cheer up, John. This is what you came for. You are so tense all the time. Come, let's have some fun. A little competition with my soldiers to see who's the best shot. What do you say? Anything better than talking to you. Ah, excelente. Okay, each man gets five shots at the local wildlife. Whoever kills the most, I will give twenty-five dollars. So this is why you don't want to skip the um. Con mucho gusto. I'm a gringo. Tell me why you're hunting this animal. Guess the beach getting a real job. You know. We were less sick of this. People might be more inclined to trust you. Are you married? Or do you rape young girls like your current? No, I could never touch a woman like that. It's not my way. But for them, it's an honor to please the ruler. My wife and child have been taken from me. That's why I have to find these men. Got it. $25. That's with you, Senor Marston. Married to my country. These rebel traitors. They're trying to take it from me. No, I never took a wife. A woman can be a powerful force. Like my mother. Or a destructive one. Like my mother. I find it better to avoid them. Too so many strong men become weak by giving them to temptations of the flesh. Okay, let's go again. Canizales, es tu turno. Estoy listo, Capitán. So this means your time in Mexico is coming to an end. I hope so. You know, I will be sad to see you leave. No, you won't. You have helped many people. I'm just glad Coronel Allende was able to offer you the skip and return. One brave man to another. 
Does your brave colonel ever leave his villa? I haven't seen him anywhere near a fight yet. He's the military commander. He also governs the province. He must be protected. Get out of harm's way. Abraham Reyes? Rebel leader? I hear he rides with his men. And how would you know that? Reyes is a coward. Blinded by law for himself. So even though Reyes is a scumbag, that part is true. Reyes at least, um, Reyes at least, um, uh, fought, uh, rides with his men where Olendi doesn't. Like the 20,000 pesos you promised when you sent me on a suicide mission with Espinosa? Yes, it has been a busy time for you here in Mexico. What do you mean? I mean, you have built quite a reputation for yourself. You just follow an order, Captain. So many stories of your brave exploits. Your actions will not be forgotten, compadre. Okay, yeah, so I think now we're just getting into the, um... So yeah, that's what I was saying is... I just generally... I just generally don't like it when YouTubers just skip the destination because there's so much interesting dialogue that you can hear uh, between the characters. Here we are! So, my friends, they're in the church! Collect Williamson and Escuela in the church, okay. <laughs> Gracias for your service to this land. <laughs> and um, for people that say that John betrayed the Mexican <laughs> army, I did all of the Mexican army missions before I did any of the rebel missions, and yet the um. Mexican army still doesn't help you. You have betrayed this land enough. I hope you have a clear conscience. Because you're about to meet God. <laughs> My brother, they will kill you if we don't get your ropes off. Over here, I will free you. So, when Reyes is at the beginning in um, Escalera, I don't think that's a glitch. I think that they intentionally put him there to show that he's following you. That's a really nice detail they put in. Of course, the Santa ran away like the coward that he is. Why is that guy just walking by? Oh 
Okay, gonna get rid of Espinoza here now. Gonna make sure Espinoza's death is pretty brutal, too. Ooh. Okay. My brothers! Today, we have proven that the days of this evil regime are numbered. Soon, we shall be free, living together in a noble republic, justly ruled by fine men. Yeah, f fine men like you. El Trabajo, that means the work. Our struggle is not over. We will fight on day and night until local tyrants like Allende are no more. And him and all his dogs are brought to the sword. We shall be free. This time things shall be different for every man and woman in this land. And, and one day, and one day soon, again they will know justice. So notice John's face in this. John has heard speeches like this before. He knows that it's all BS. Just so people know, Reyes is not a good guy. You know, he did save you. You know, he did, you know, keep his end of the bargain. Uh, and, you know, he doesn't betray John. But uh, he is a scumbag. He's not a good man. Uh, let's see here. Why did it Why did it take me out of my poncho outfit? I like the poncho outfit. It's cool. Why did it take me out of it? Uh, uh, okay. Oh, I gotta do it. Um, okay. Hang on a second here. Uh, Hey, senor. You want trouble, friend? Manos arriba. Antilas. Tranquilo. I, that Tranquilo, means peace. Amigo. Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Where is the cabron? Or no, I think tranquilo actually means calm. Um, El mundo es muy difícil. Hmm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Does something is very difficult. Oh, um, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston. My father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Luisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. You know I'll do whatever I can, but I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people. For these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. While there are guns and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abram Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Marston, 
I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family, just because. Please, good actions make you a good man. Then I'm doomed. But I will help you, out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Let's go. We do not have much time to prepare the ambush. Yeah, so, um, uh, Louisa is, out of all the rebels, she is definitely the most kind-hearted one. And the one who, she Sorry, should have, she should have been the leader Death of Mexico. Must not be in pain. Now we shall fight even harder to win power for Abraham. I admire your devotion. He is a true revolutionary. A man who puts the needs of others before his own. I don't know about a man that. Who fights out of love rather than hate. But you know this already. I heard about the battle at Chuparrosa. How he killed nearly a hundred soldiers to save your life. It'll go down in legend. There wasn't even a hundred, you know, soldiers you there. In what way? You have done so much for me and my family. But I still can't forgive you for helping Allende. For what you did to the rebels. I'm here for two men, that's it. Not to take sides. And certainly not to fight a war that isn't mine. It makes no sense. You make a choice by not making a choice, you know. Melinda betrayed me. I saw him do bad things. Things that disgust even me. Allende is pura maldad. One day I will cut his heart out. For me, you, him, we're all shooting people. Don't really seem like we're so very different. The difference is why, Mr. Marston? The ideals we hold, there can never be revolution without blood. Until people forget what they're shooting for, and just enjoy killing for its own sake. You Americans forget too quickly. That is the problem. If it wasn't for your revolution, you would still be making tea for the English. That's true. At least we knew where we stood. It's more difficult to understand why your own people treat you like shit. It is the same here. We fought off the Spanish. We fought off the French. We even fought off the Americans. Finally, Mexico won its independence, and all we've done since then is fight each other. At least you're keeping up tradition. It will end when Abraham takes control. When the Spanish left, we renamed this province Nuevo Paraíso, New Paradise. One day, it will live up to its name. Yeah, so what she was talking about is she was talking about the Mexican-French War. Uh, now, during the time of the American Civil War, there was actually a war between Mexico and France. Uh, I guess I can't pretend to understand your country's politics. But you think we are fighting for nothing? Take no notice of me. I ain't got much faith in power just now. That is exactly why we must continue to fight for change. Nothing ever really changes. You are a man who has lost his spirit. No doubt. I once believed it was possible to make a difference. The men I'm chasing, they did too. That if we spilled enough blood, we could change the way people think. Revolutions are always won with blood. And after the fighting's done? Freedom. We ain't never free. Be honest with yourself, and you will be free. That must be what I've been getting wrong all these years. So, Napoleon III came to power in the 1860s. And Napoleon III, he was the nephew of Napoleon I, I believe. Uh, and he wanted to be just like his uncle. And he wanted to build an empire. Uh, if only I'd sent my father as well. You did everything you could. They know nothing of my father's death. They feel terrible. But it isn't safe for them here anymore. After we win, they can return to a new Mexico. What about you? I will stay and fight. I am ready to die if necessary. Emilio too. We are a close family. Do you have children, Mr. Marston? I have a son at home and a daughter in heaven. Is he looking after your wife? I hope so. He's not much younger than you, but I don't know. He's still young. We tried to protect him. Give him a gentler childhood than what we had. Guess I failed at that. What is his name? Jack. Jack Marston. I ain't been much of a father. So, um, uh, France invaded Mexico in the 1860s. It Napoleon no III now. tried to the turn uh, Mexico into a colony of France. Were and then steal their supplies? No, destroy them and kill everyone. Abraham wants to send a message. Do you have experience with explosives? A little. Been a long time. 
Good, because we do not. You will man the detonator. My men are waiting there for us. They will also need your help setting up the dynamite. I'll do my best. We Sin will do this for my father, John. Cinco de Mayo, a holiday that's in a very big holiday that's in Mexico, is actually celebrated as a. a it was as celebrated because of a battle that was fought during the Mexican-French War. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagons. Okay, follow me, gentlemen. And the Mexican um, revolutionaries defeated the French. And uh, here's the thing about this. Um, uh, shall they ex where to bury the explosives on the ground? Um, Um... Start here! Where are you going, gringo? There's no time! Okay. In here! Put one here. Here. And we'll put one here. Here's good. Hurry! We don't have much time. That may cause a chill reaction, you know? Good. Now go. Luisa is waiting for you at the top of the hill. Get ready, John. Every time Allende hits us, we hit him back harder. Okay, let's see, where is this military convoy? Oh, I had to... Okay. There it is. Get ready. I'm gonna try to see if we can take out as many of them as possible. So um, when there was the Mexican-French War, um, what happened is um, the U.S. probably would have interfered at that time, but they didn't because of the American Civil War. If the if there was no American Civil War, the U.S. probably would have declared war in France. Uh, and the reason for that, it wasn't necessarily to help Mexico, but it was to enforce the Monroe Doctrine. The Monroe Doctrine was a law the U.S. passed, which basically said the Europeans are not to interfere in North and South American affairs, and the Americans will not interfere in European affairs. And so the U.S. probably would have attacked France. Okay. They probably would have attacked France and helped Mexico to uh, to basically enforce that to show that you know you don't interfere in um, affairs over here. But the U.S. did interfere a lot in Mexico's affairs and throughout its history too. Uh, okay. See where is this guy here? I don't see anyone. Uh, it means long live the revolution. Thank you, Mr. Marston. We are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor. Okay.
Captain DeSantis downfall. This is gonna be good. Oh, my... John! John! Thank God you have come. That wretched animal De Santa has been sent to oversee a massacre in El Sepulcro. Come, we must stop him and finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers. Hurry, I don't know how much time we have. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot to sacrifice. I just hope it's worth it. It is better to die free than live a slave. Come on. Oh, I do, I do like that quote. It's better to die free than live as slaves. But, um... But it's just really sad how the Mexican Revolution didn't accomplish a lot of the stuff that the rebels were actually hoping for. A soldier? No, I was never much good at taking orders. Slow down, I can't keep up. So where did you learn about explosives? I guess some banks ain't easy to get into on weekends. It was impressive what you did at the bridge, destroying that convoy. The army is getting weaker by the day. I'm sure there's more supplies where those came from. We will destroy those too. Allende is scared and making mistakes. We are closer to victory than you think. We must stay alert. El Sepulcro is just up ahead. All right, let's hold up here. Man. Tell your men not to open fire till I make a move. We don't want to give him a chance to escape. And leave DeSanta to me. I need him alive. We will wait for your lead, senor. In the name del gobierno provincial del coronel Allende y de las In the name of the um. In the, in the name of something, a traitor. Um, I didn't understand it fully what he said. Yeah, Mexico is definitely the best part of the story in uh, Red Dead Redemption 1. Santa's has got two guards left. What? You're finished. Oh. Oh. What are you going to do to me? Let me go. I am begging you. Yeah, it's too late for that now. Kill you. If you kill me, 
I have the entire Mexican army after you. Yeah, you can hear him say a few things before you drop him off to the, um, uh, to the rebels. Please, we can come to an agreement. Well, it's too late for that. of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? You are the better man. Kill the Santa or walk away and let the rebels take care of him. I'm gonna walk away. It's not it worth it. It's time to make a decision, my friend. He's all yours, fellas. I got what I need. Esto es para Mexico! It is done. Come on. Now we find your friend. Are you crazy? We cannot stop now. What can I say, partner? Get back on your horse. We don't have time for this. Okay. Thank you, compadre. It should really have been you. I don't like to kill a man on his knees, even if he does deserve it. That man is responsible for hundreds of innocent dead, maybe thousands. He will burn in hell. We all will, my friend. Espinosa is dead. The Santa is dead. The army is without leaders. And now before it's too late. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. Come. Okay, go to Casa Madruga, Madrugada. Also, the dialogue in that ride actually changes if you are the one who, um, kills the Santa. But let me know in the comments, guys, do you think it's better to kill him yourself or to walk away? Why are you looking for Javier Escuela? We was friends once, long time ago. Not anymore. Get back on your horse! We don't have time for this! Old friends make their worst enemies. Come on! You can't give up now! This place is deserted. Is it always this quiet? Uh... Army here. Where's Javier Escuela? <laughs> Javier Escuela? He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shot up this place for him, huh? 
I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. But Captain DeSanta said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. <laughs> Go shoot up some place else. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, uh, the Santa lied. Oh, what the? The hell are you doing? No! What if we got here? Thank you, senor. I should know by now. I never to tell a man he has una verga pequeña. Maybe it's time to think about a different line of business. Yeah, so, um, uh, it actually makes sense that the Santa lied, because the Santa was gonna die either way, so he basically just told John a lie without giving up Escuela, uh, and so he wasn't gonna get anything out of it. Uh, but I guess we'll wrap it up on this part here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Have a lot of fun with this. Unfortunate the Mexico chapter is about to end in the next part, because I'm, this, is, this is my favorite part of the game. But thank you guys for watching. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys. Oh, <laughs>